So I'm here at Mobile Country I'm here at the Foundation Group. I am Martin from Justin. And right now I'm going to ask you a few questions about the Foundation right now. Okay, cool. We've got a lot of stuff going on with Foundation. Uh, we've got a lot of things going on with Foundation. We've got a lot of things going on with Foundation. We talked a little earlier, one of our things we're doing really interesting is new for us this year. Uh, we're doing a show called Double Talk. Uh, it streams Wednesday nights on Foundation.com slash Double Talk at 8.30 uh, Central Time. Uh, basically what that is, is we recap our broadcast dubs, which is a big new initiative we're working on right now. Uh, we're, we're dubbing content as it's simulcasting in Japan. So dubs are coming out four to six weeks after the original air date versus you know the year and a half to two years that was normal timeline. So, that's really cool because we know that the dub fans want to see content earlier and faster. And that's one of the things we're trying to do for that. Um, I mean, a big thing that we're doing this summer is uh, Dragon Ball Z Battle of the Gods Resurrection again. Yeah, I heard about that. That's not what we're going to do right now. In fact, we've got the last day of when out. Yeah. So, can you tell us more about when it's coming out and what we're going to do? Totally. Uh, so, uh, Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F, the newest movie from the Dragon Ball Z franchise, uh, is coming out in theaters in the U.S. English dubbed August 4th through the 12th, and uh, that's going to be a really cool event. It's a theatrical event. It's not a normal uh, theatrical run, like let's say for the Avengers or something. Uh, since it's a theatrical event style, we're encouraging people to pre-order tickets on DragonBallZ.com when they become available because uh, it is a limited uh, theater selection. So a lot of theaters will sell out. So we want to make sure that fans are able to get that uh, locked in before uh, you know they don't have the opportunity to get it in the theaters. Um, also, since it's a theatrical event, we're actually going to be doing um, a lot more around uh, the screening rather than just having the movie show. So we're going to show you guys some behind-the-scenes stuff, we're going to show uh, some interviews with the voice actors and things like that. We want to really make it a, a cool fan experience, uh, which I feel like when they do with the last year's Battle of Gods uh, screenings, it's like going to a, a mini convention in your local movie theater. So it's cool. Awesome. So it's going to be a film Resurrection app. Nice. So, what I want to talk about is like, 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 how, what's the process of it? I know it's like a very long, uh, like, process of love, and what was that like, 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 Yeah. So, yeah, and it's, our dubbing process has changed quite a bit, especially with these broadcast dubs. So, um, you know, now we're getting shows uh, immediately from the streaming, you know, for the streaming content, and we're taking each episode and dubbing them one by one. Um, whereas in the past, we typically, for some releases, we still do this. We dub all of the content all at one time. So you'd have a 13-episode series, you dub all 13 episodes in like you know a month, and then you crank it out that way. Now we're dubbing each individual episode every week as they're streaming out of Japan. Uh, so that's changed the process of how you do the dubs. One of the big things we just announced was uh, the new or the dub cast for uh, the new Haruhi series. So uh, the previous cast was a was all, or the previous releases was all done in LA, uh, but now that Funimation owns it, we're in Dallas, but we're still using the uh, LA actors and trying to keep that dub consistent with the previous releases. So that's a challenge, to be honest, uh, because we're a Dallas-based company working with a lot of LA actors, and so we're doing a lot of that remotely, uh, getting them in studios, you know, in, in LA, and getting the materials back here to do all of the rest of the work. Uh, and doing that weekly um, is, is, is a challenge, but uh, we, want, we know it's really important to keep the cast as consistent as we can uh, to the fans, so uh, that's why we're doing it. That's that is a tough question. So uh, right now on uh, on our double talk show, we were watching Assassination Classroom, uh, Tokyo Ghoul Rugi, uh Death Parade, the first season, and now we're doing uh, the second season of Assassination Classroom, uh, Blood Blockade Battlefront, and uh, and Seraph of the End, Vampire Reign, um, all great shows. Um, of those that we're probably doing right now, I think I like. Blood Blockade Battlefront the most at this time. Um, it's cool, it's kind of like a Men in Black meets Cowboy Bebop kind of vibe. Uh, so I like it that way. But an overall anime, I mean Dragon Ball Z has got to be like one of my top ones just for, for many different reasons. It's probably the most impactful on my life. Uh, yeah, but content wise, I really like the show Bakugo. I love the way they tell the story. I love the setting being this uh, 1930s New York combined with like this you know, old school alchemy. It's sci fi, but, uh, but kind of modern at the same time. So it's an interesting show, and the, 
the way they tell a story, it's really confusing at first, but then you figure it out and you start learning. And I watch it till three times, and I see something new every time I watch it. Hi, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Web day, anime, the best anime. Uh, Welcome, Mr. Asong. Web day, video game.